Good morning, everyone. Um, I have been using Grades First a lot this past year and just wanted to give a quick tutorial um, for anybody that would like to start. So if you go to My Nichols and you click on Grades First, it's easy to access. The main screen will have all of your assigned students on it. But what I really wanted to show you guys was how, this is new for me this semester, how students can sign up for an appointment with you um, and you don't have to do anything about it, which I absolutely love. So right here you go to appointment campaigns and I did a test one here just to make sure, but let me walk you through it. You'll go right here to, I want to create a new appointment campaign. I'm going to name it test. It's for advising. And then I'm going to say advising appointments. This is important for link. I always put 20 minutes at least so that they can't um, sign up too close together. And then teacher ed and continue. And you can either invite all of your assigned students or you can search by students. For example, I didn't want to invite my graduate student advisees because I've already done their advising. So I just did um, undergrads for mine. So you continue and you say, I am the advisor. And then you'll see this is what the message will do. It'll put automatically put the student's first name in. I also added here that all due to COVID, all advice, advising appointments will be done via Zoom and I put the link for my Zoom account on it. And then you look down here and you can see what the email to the students will actually look like. And then you continue. And this is what it's going to look like. I'm not going to send it because I've already sent mine. But as long, if you put send right there and every one of your advisees will get an email. Other very important things to do is define your availability. So if you go to the home screen, this is how you tell your students when they can sign up. So I'm going to edit mine. This took me a second to figure out, but you unclick or click the days. So you're doing your availability all at once. So I'm saying I'm available from 8 to 12, Monday through Friday, um, for my undergrad students and only for appointments. So I say save. And when the students get the email, they will see when you're available and when you're not. For example, I sent this out yesterday and you can see I'm already pretty much booked except for these options. So if a student would want to meet with me today, they would only see that I am open for these days. So I hope that helps y'all. The, um, you know, the sign up outside of your door has been a pain for me and then my poor GA and student worker were getting so many emails trying to put it on my personal calendar. It um it got to be a lot. Ooh, one one last thing, personal calendar. You can add this to your personal calendar. For example, if I go right here to my iCal, let's say we're on the other screen. I go to my iCal I can subscribe to my advising from grades first um, calendar. So that automatically will put all of your grades first calendar appointments whenever the students makes the, make the appointment. It will all automatically go into your Google Calendar, your iCalendar, um, and they have instructions for that when you that walk you through it. Hope this helped, guys. As always, text me if I can help with any techie stuff. Have a great day. Bye.